So for today, we're going to be looking at the Witcher set from Eververse. This is the Eververse set for Season of the Wish. I have a lot of things to say about this armor. We're going to be looking at how it looks, how it shaders are my personal thoughts. And if you guys are interested in around two hours, I will have the shader video as well, which essentially we just go over all of the shaders that I currently own through all of the armor for all the classes. So I do have a lot of shaders, but if you are interested, definitely check that video out. Let me know what you guys think. I do have the individual sets. I do have the individual set videos for the classes. I just have to do the voiceover, but I a lot of content. I've already said this in previous videos, specifically from the Dark Age content. So the Hunters and Titans, that's where I really go in depth with it. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's just get into it. So this is the armor set right here. I definitely think it looks amazing. That being said, I think the weakest pieces from all of them, aside from maybe the Warlock, are the helmets. I think the helmets are pretty terrible for the Hunters and Titans. Warlocks, I think yours is pretty cool and definitely usable, but the Titans helmet looks pretty terrible. And then the Hunters, I think is the worst one, if I'm being quite honest, just terrible. But it is really cool because everything else is amazing. We're gonna start off with the Hunters, the White Wolf set. I think the chest piece is amazing, the boots are amazing, the arms are amazing, the cloak is probably my most favorite cloak in the game now. So I think my only gripe about the cloak is I wish that the swords were a little bit lower just because I feel like they're way too high up there. That being said, I wish they were on the hip because realistically no one wore the swords on their back like historically so when I see it it just looks kind of goofy especially when you realize that they actually can't take the sword out without having to touch like the blade itself. So it's kind of goofy when you think about it like that. But I think the hundreds is amazing. Um, you can definitely do some really cool things. The fact that it has chainmail also is really good because we have other other pieces from previous seasons that have chainmail as well. So you can combine it with that. Titans, I think the chest piece is really cool. The arms are really cool. The boots are really cool. I think all of it is really cool, honestly. And this goes for the warlocks as well. I think everything is super dope. Like. The Titans, I think my biggest gripe is I think the Titans chest piece is a little too slim. Not only that, it takes off colors, which we will get into the shader when we get to it. But I think the boots is really cool. I think it is a shame that the Warlocks got the boots that they got and the Titans got the boots that they got. I think they would have, they should have switched them because <clears throat> Titans not having like metal on their boots is just such a wasted potential. Not saying the Warlocks shouldn't get it. I think it looks cool as well. But I would have not. I, I would have much preferred if the if the warlocks got the leather pieces instead of the titans. But I mean, it's fine. It's not that the biggest deal in the world. But it is just weird. Um, warlocks. I think the chest piece is easily the best chest piece I I've seen like warlocks get in a long time. The arms are really cool. Just be the uh, just be aware that the they're really bulky. That's the only problem I have with them. Boots are amazing. I think the bond is like whatever's, but it's a bond. Like bonds rarely ever really move me. So I definitely think Warlocks got really good pieces. I think everyone got good pieces. I just think the Warlocks got the best one just because I like the helmet a lot. Like the helmet is actually really, really cool. I think it's just because like it looks just like a regular helmet. And then when you look at the Hunter and Titan, it's just like, what the fuck are these? Like the Hunters is terrible and the Titans is terrible. Also be aware that the the like scar on each of them all oh, not each of them the scar on the titans has the glow the warlocks the eye slit has the glow and then the hunters the like thing inside the helmet glows not a good glow but it glows nonetheless so let me know what you guys think about the armor sets itself again i i don't hate it it's just there's the helmets are definitely the worst pieces for the titans and hunters for the warlocks again like i said the helmet is super dope I will say my favorite pieces from these will have to be the cloak for the hunters for the titans it probably is the arms just because the chest piece is way too thin at least for female titans and then for the warlocks the chest piece is easily the best as for how it shaders
so yeah the shadering is pretty cool just be aware that there's a few things that kind of bug me for specifically the titans uh, a lot of them have a lot of off colors which is not the worst thing in the world granted i can work around it but it's just another layer of difficulty that i don't want um i think the hunters has probably the best pieces when it comes to like maintaining off colors and main colors the only part part that like will have give you problems is the boots the boots will be the one that gives you the most trouble just because a lot of it is off colors but there is main colors in there as well for the warlocks no problem at all all of it shaders really really well the chest piece shaders well the arms everything everything shaders well it's just the titans um pretty much everything except the arms and um, the chest piece and the and the boots basically are the ones that are going to be the off colors and then for the hunters it's going to be just the boots itself i mean there's some off colors on the arms specifically the arm like arm guard but other than that there's nothing crazy overall i do think this armor is super dope the fact that it's 20 dollars is just going to be the biggest thing that annoys people which granted that's very fair 60 bucks for transmog for three classes is absolutely wild when it's it's 60 bucks bro you can buy a fucking game with that like, it's just wild to me so i definitely think bungie should lower their price but at this point with all of the news that they're hurting for money yeah it's not gonna happen like not at least not not right now probably later i doubt it but you might never know let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys i will be having some more content i'm gonna be working on the worm guard stuff which is the seasonal activity armor plus the iron banner um, armor as well that one will probably be coming out later after iron banner is done but i will have a video up explaining or not explaining but showcasing some of the armor when iron banner comes back so i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later